I'm Nicole Aaron and this is University TV. Today we're at beautiful Arizona State University, home of the Sun Devils. Come join me on our campus tour. Arizona State University has four unique campuses, all located in vibrant Phoenix, Arizona, which is the fastest growing metropolitan area in the country. Phoenix has major employers, great weather, a vibrant art scene, and great restaurants and shopping, making it one thrilling place to pursue your dreams. Arizona State University's Tempe campus houses major research and learning facilities with a variety of architecture. The West Campus offers an environment with fountain courtyards and architecture influenced by the University of Oxford in Great Britain. The Polytechnic campus has facilities for project-based learning from flight simulators to state-of-the-art golf simulators. And ASU's newest campus located in downtown Phoenix offers students public purpose majors. With such a large student population, there's so many opportunities that come. There's every major that you can possibly think of. And we have four different campuses, so if it's not here, it's gonna be at one of our campuses. If you do want that smaller school feel, you can really get that within your specific college. So it's really the best of both worlds. ASU is one of the largest universities in the nation, with more than 63,000 students across the four campuses, featuring a male-to-female ratio of 48% men and 52% women, plus a large undergraduate diversity rate of 26%. For the admission requirements to Arizona State University, we have similar but slightly different for in-state student versus out-of-state students. Um, in-state students need to fall within the top 25% of their high school graduating class, um, have a 3.0 GPA, as well as uh, an SAT score of 1040 or higher, or an ACT score of 22 or higher, um, as well as some academic courses that we want to have them complete um, while they're in high school. Um, the only difference for out-of-state students is the test scores. An out-of-state student needs to have an 1110 on their SAT versus, and also a 24 on their ACT. Um, we do consider students who fall in the 26th to 50th percentile of their graduating class. That's our general standard admission requirements. Arizona residents can expect to pay about $5,600 for a year of tuition, not including room and board, which runs about an extra $9,000 per year. Tuition costs for non-residents is around $17,000 per year. Talk about career choices, ASU offers more than 250 undergraduate degree programs and 350 graduate degree programs. The most popular undergrad majors are marketing, elementary education, global business, and mechanical and aerospace engineering. There's tons of internship opportunities that I've had um, to look at, to, to choose from with ASU, so they just bring a lot of different choices to the table for you. ASU is also well known for its business, journalism, architecture, and engineering programs. I challenge them. I'm very demanding in terms of what I expect, but I also meet them where they are. Um, I have a very engaging, free-flowing style, and I'm pretty accessible. I think that, that professors, particularly those at state schools, need to be accessible not only to students, but the, the surrounding communities. ASU faculty members excel in their fields and include Nobel laureate and Pulitzer Prize winners. Faculty members have also been honored by such prestigious groups as the National Academy of Engineering and the National Endowment for the Humanities. I'm, I'm working on a book entitled Hurricane Katrina, America's Unnatural Disaster. I'm getting ready to publish a book entitled African American Icons of Sport. That'll be out in May. And I'm writing a biography of Muhammad Ali. If you've watched any ASU sporting events, no doubt you've seen Sparky the Sun Devil. He has a lot to cheer about because ASU is ranked in the top two of the Pac-10 Conference and in the top 10 of the Division I Athletics for having the highest number of academic All-Americans over the past six years. One of the things I always liked about the dorms in that first week, people just want to meet other people. And that's when you make a lot of friends. One of the things that you do with all those people you just met is you go to football games. It has to be one of the most fun things that you can do here on campus as a freshman. Arizona State offers a variety of residence halls on campus, many of them new to accommodate for the freshman class. Upper Division students can bask in the lap of luxury inside the Vista del Sol Residence Hall. Lucky them! With over 625 organizations on campus, you won't be spending much time in those rooms. You'll find clubs available to ASU students that feature everything from sports to politics and from religion to ones that are career oriented. There, there are a lot of student organizations here on this campus. Um, it, it, just, it just buzzes. I, everybody that I've met that's come here just to visit says, you know, there's so much going on at this university. There's so much energy. 
Um, it, it's just it's just difficult not to feel it. ASU students have some of the highest academic credentials in the nation. Last year's freshman class included 188 National Merit Scholars, ranking ASU third among public universities nationwide and eighth overall, ahead of both Princeton University and Stanford University. ASU has a number of celebrity alumni. We've got pro golfer Phil Mickelson, designer Kate Spade, and a founder of Cold Stone Creamery, Doug Ducey. ASU hosted the 2004 presidential debates inside the Gammage Memorial Auditorium. It was actually designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. And ASU has also played host to the Super Bowl. So if a major public university with a history of academic scholars and highly ranked athletic teams spark your interest, then be sure to check out Arizona State University today. Thanks for joining us here in Tempe, Arizona on our tour of Arizona State University. I'm Nicole Aaron for University TV. We'll see you real soon.